my name is Jen and I'm online. A couple of videos back I brought you my ride or die vacation shoes and those are the shoes that I reach for every time when I'm going on vacation. I don't take them all but those are the main shoes, my tried and trues. So I thought it would be fun to ask my husband what are his ride or die vacation shoes. So that's what we're going to go over today. A male perspective of ride or die vacation shoes. How much time do we have? <laughs> <laughs> So my husband is a true lover of shoes and he has quite the collection of shoes. So out of all his shoes, I asked him, which ones are the ones that you grab the most for your first pick to take on vacation? Not that you take all of these on one vacation, but the shoes that you go for and why when it's time for vacations. And Daryl said? All of them. <laughs> of course. <laughs> we need a bigger bag, so. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna need a bigger bag. So without further ado, we're going to get started. Now these shoes are in no particular order of favorites. We're just going to grab the shoe and ask Daryl to explain what shoe they are, when he got them, and why he likes to take them on vacation. So let's get started. So Daryl, tell me something about this shoe, where you got it from, and why you like it, or why you love it. This particular sneaker is uh, one of my favorites for traveling. As you can see, it's a leather, cream beige sneaker uh, by Ferragamo. I purchased it actually during the pandemic in 2020, where for the most part, you know, most of us, we couldn't really go anywhere, although we have an RV, so I was able to take them to Niagara Falls um, on the United States side uh, and travel places like that. I'm just gonna uh, to so I wanted to, you know, have something that's comfortable and saw them online and in 2020, I didn't have a chance to buy much, so that was my excuse to add to the collection. So that's my travel sneaker. And why are these your favorite, your first picks for travel out of all your sneakers? Comfort. They're, as you can tell, that it's a slip-on sneaker. So especially when you're sitting on a plane, if you're doing a four or five hour or eight hour flight across the pond somewhere, um, your feet are very comfortable in them. All for walking around if you're in a um, foreign country or a local town somewhere here in the States. It's just a real comfortable shoe. You put them on early in the day and you can take them off late at night without any discomfort for your feet. So that's my favorite to travel in. Oh, awesome. And our next shoe. Probably should have saved this one for last. Here you go. Yes, this, <laughs> as my wife notices this shoe, recognizes this shoe, uh, this is probably my favorite shoe of all my shoes in our collection. And I'll won't get into the whole story, but it also took us to many parts of the world as we traveled. I've taken this shoe on, any, on pretty much every vacation that we've gone on. I try to make that as a standard. So this shoe has been to Paris, it's been to Aruba, it has been to Cancun, Mexico, and many places uh, in the United States, it's been to Italy. So if we've been there, this shoe's been there with us. This is my overall favorite. It's a basket weave shoe, extremely comfortable. Um, on the foot and easy to uh, match up with various outfits. When did you get this shoe? How long have you had it? I've had that shoe since 2016, so eight years old. These are my favorite shoes and if you want to hear the story of these shoes, stick around to the end and we'll tell you. Lovely contestant number three. Alrighty, now these are, a, this is a new pair of shoes, it's by Ferragamo. If I had mentioned a previous shoe, that also was by Ferragamo. There seems to be a theme here. Yeah, kind of a little um, theme in the Daryl collection of shoes. He's kind of biased to that brand, Ferragamo from Italy. But you can see this is a blue driver. Uh, Picked pick this particular shoe up this spring, 2024. I, I, I didn't need, but I really wanted to have a real lightweight uh, blue spring slash summer shoe to the collection. Again, something to walk around in if we're traveling to different places. Uh, we have a couple of trips planned this summer, so wanted to have something that would be really, really easy on the feet uh, for a number of hours. Great color and very comfortable shoe. Really, really enjoy it. Contestant number four. Number four. This particular shoe is, I call it the shoe that gets a lot of attention because of the color. As you can tell, it's uh, kind of like a, I'd say a, um, I don't know what you say, a uh, Irish green mm -hmm. or a, yeah. Um, great to wear on St. Patty's Day in, in March, but I also, the purpose when I purchased the shoe is for spring slash uh, summertime and going out and about. This shoe really matches up well if I'm wearing black jeans, 
but it really pops off well when I'm wearing beige and or, or white pants with it. We recently uh, purchased this shoe in 2016 also. Very comfortable and um, a lot of uh, attention the shoe gets and uh, people really like it and I really enjoy wearing it. It's a, a fun shoe. And it's a really fun color. He gets so many compliments on these shoes. These shoes are a real showstopper. And here you go. By the way, the previous shoe that I showed was Ferragamo, uh, also the green one. Again, that theme will stop with this particular shoe because this shoe is from a, com a competitor for Ferragamo, at least in the shoe area, uh, Gucci. This is a Gucci shoe. Uh, so yes, I do step out of my norm and comfort zone in terms of trying something new. Purchased this shoe in uh, March of this year, uh, 2024. Uh, in Aruba, we were walking through the gallery of shops in Aruba and we went into the Gucci store and I was looking for, in fact, the uh, driver, like the blue one I showed earlier and they didn't have my size. So we looked around, we saw this shoe, tried it on and I had to wear it. Worked that night to dinner and uh, got a lot of, lot of um, compliments on it. So part of the summer collection, Gucci. I'll be more precise. I saw these shoes and said, these are so Daryl. <laughs> I was like, honey, she did say that. <laughs> you got to try this shoe on. This shoe is comp so you. It's just totally you. And it just matches his vibe. It matches his style. It's casual, but elevated all at the same time. It just, this shoe just speaks volume and it looks absolutely fantastic on him. All righty. And we're back to Ferragamo, so the theme continues. Back to Ferragamo. As you can tell, this is a, a velvet black shoe. Um, this shoe is great for, well, I tell you what, we wore it on our honeymoon. Uh, I wore it on a honeymoon. This shoe, wore it around, we were on a cruise, and it was great to walk around the ship, whether in the morning uh, or late at night, just one of these real casual, chill type of shoes. If you're going to go somewhere to relax, Purchased that in 2019, super comfortable, really, really like it. And I also wear it around Christmas at the holiday season as well, so. This was a wedding present for me to Daryl, and I bought these in 2019. I actually got them on Fashion File for, I won't say a great deal, but. <laughs> a deal. A deal. <laughs> <laughs> and these just look so cool, just kind of walking around the ship, being comfy and casual. And they look great around the holidays as well. And now we are coming up on our last shoe. And Daryl? Yes, and the last but not least final uh, shoe slash um, slide, or would you say we'd call this what a slide? Yeah. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. a slide. It's by uh, Louis Vuitton. So we went um, outside of Italy, Gucci, no Ferragamo. Went to Louis Vuitton for this slide. Extremely comfortable. Uh, wanted to have something that would be dual purpose to walk around on vacation or walk around here at home in the community. Um, great where you can go to the beach with it. Added this one this year to the collection and it will be doing a lot of traveling with us uh, in the coming uh, time. So looking forward to traveling with this one a lot. So this is a very versatile casual shoe. It can get wet. It's not leather. Um, it's whatever this material is. I'm not 100% sure. Um, so it can go into the water and get wet and it's just nice and durable. And this was a Father's Day gift for a wonderful father. Thank you. So Daryl, out of all those shoes, do you have a favorite? You know, I, I when we're putting together the collection for travel and, and my uh, ride or die vacation shoe collection that I want to take all of them with me, I don't know if I can point out and really have a favorite. If I if, if you had to say you have one shoe, only one shoe you could take on vacation, Daryl, that one would probably be the weave shoes because that is my overall favorite shoe of all my shoes in my entire collection. Um, just because it's, it's just so sentimental to me because it's our shoe. My wife and I just has so many memories and it's traveled so so much with us over the years that uh, I would say that would be my favorite, the weave. Those are my favorite too as well. Well, that's it. Oh, no, it's not it. I f told you if you stuck around that you would hear the story, that you would hear the story of the Ferragamo basket weave shoes. These are the shoes that Daryl was wearing. On our first date. Yes, we met at Reston Town Center on a blind date and Daryl was wearing these shoes that at the time I thought they were very nice and very stylish and the reason why I was particularly paying attention to these shoes, well here comes the story of our first date and these shoes. 
So we had finished up our date and we were walking back towards the car. And before the date, I knew that Daryl was visually impaired. That was not a surprise to me. So we were walking back to my car. And then out of nowhere, it just starts pouring down rain. I mean, raining like a monsoon, raining like any time I expected Noah's Ark to be floating by. And unfortunately, I was wearing some rather cheap mascara and it began to drip down into my eyes and sting and burn my eyes so bad I could hardly keep my eyes open. And I was squinting and I was having trouble seeing because my eyes were stinging so bad I couldn't keep them open. All I could do was kind of stare at the ground and get a little glimpse of our feet. And that's when I noticed Daryl's shoes. And I turned to him and I said, okay, I don't want you to take this the wrong way or think this is a joke, but I cannot see. So it's pouring down rain and I could not figure out how to get back to my car because I couldn't open my eyes wide enough to see in front of me. All I could do was squint real hard and, and just see basically our feet. So Daryl's like, well, I'll ask Suri, where are you parked? That's like, I believe I'm parked by the Best Buy. So he puts in the Suri, um, ask Suri how to get to Best Buy. And we both followed Siri's verbal clues towards my car until it stopped raining enough where I could take my shirt and wipe some of the mascara away from my eyes so it would stop burning so badly and I could actually open up my eyes to see and how to get back the rest of the way to the car. So then I offered Daryl a ride home and his first <laughs> question was, are you sure you can see? And <laughs> I did ask that question. <laughs> By the time we got back to my car, the stinging and burning had stopped and I had my vision back and... I gave him a ride home, and it's just been us ever since. So the other part of, about that shoe, I think, that, that Jen uh, left out, when I got back home, I was soaked from head to toe, shirt, pants, shoes. Shoes were just totally, totally drenched. And I was like, well, the only thing I could do about the shoes is leave them out. Hopefully they'll dry, their form, their shape, uh, their look will come back to they were before, or they'll be bye-bye. And I put them out by my door uh, at my condo, left them out by the door, looked, checked on them the next morning, and lo and behold, they came back to their original color, same uh... form, and they were back. And I said, well, these shoes are special. And they really have been, and they've been with us on all our small, medium, and big trips as well. So, uh, they're yeah, they're both our favorites. We, we love them. Yeah, so... That is it. Tell me down in the comments below which pair were your favorite pair and why. And do you notice a theme here? Ferragamo seems to get a lot of play. I think it's Daryl's favorite, if you couldn't tell. And if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe because I think I will have Daryl back on my little tiny YouTube channel because this has been a lot of fun, babe. I enjoy it too, and, and I'm glad to be a part of it. You know, it's nice getting the invitation to be part of something special. Awesome. Hope you liked it. See you next time. Take care.